What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Eddie Harvey here. Hope everyone is doing well, guys. All right. It is Wednesday, weekly analysis time, guys. This is where I get on here and hop on uh, the charts for a little bit, guys, and break down a specific pair that I'm looking at to potentially uh, get in for a trade, or maybe I've already entered it for a trade, guys. And today we're going to be looking at Euro NZD. All right. So we're going to get right into it because, um, you know, I definitely want to share with you all what I'm seeing with uh, Ian here and and break down what I project uh, that may potentially happen here. All right, so guys, here we are, uh, Euro NZD, one hour chart. Uh, I stick to what I know, guys. Again, I'm not a, a professional, not giving you any advice. I'm just trying to drop a little value here for you all uh, and share what I see. So if you guys are looking for a whole bunch of chart markups and, and different indicators and all of that, you're not gonna get it here, okay? Uh, I use strictly, uh, support or resistance um, and my market analysis i'm just going with support uh excuse me uh support or resistance and i just markups guys and the way i trade is, is super simple i don't have i have naked forex trading as it's called uh, all i have on here is a couple of boxes and some lines to give me my resistance and support zones and they show you exactly what i'm looking for so before i look into what's happening because uh, i just entered this trade and i'm going to tell you why here in a minute let's just look at what's happened with um your NZD as of the, the past, we can even go back a couple of weeks here. Uh, looking at EM, man, it's, it's been in a lot of consolidation. Uh, it was in a lot of consolidation. If you look here from December 23rd, right before Christmas, right? We know it was the holiday time, so the market was definitely moving slower. Uh, this week, the market is definitely going to be, it should be getting back. We're mid-January, new week. Market is getting back on track to be, to be a normal some uh, normalcy in the market here. But if you look here, guys, it was just ranging back and forth, back and forth, dropped down here a little bit, came back up and uh, went up a little bit, uh, broke this level of resistance, but then went up, boom, dropped back down and uh, just came down here. And then after this, this is when it finally made a move to the upside leading to where we are, where we recently have been at since January 5th. So before that though, if you look at it, guys, if you look at it here on the one hour chart, um, you know, this is a very strong support level right here, right? So as you can see, it tried multiple times to break this level, but uh, it did not. You know, so if it breaks past this zone here, you should definitely can expect a nice uh, potential move to the downside. But that's a very strong zone, even going back all the way to... November 29th. So put for the past over past month, uh, month and a half has been has been a very strong uh, zone. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. I got I got it up on my other computer as well. So let me uh, there we go. Get up out of that so I don't lose um, my access to trading view here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go. I really don't do too much on the four hour, but I definitely go look at the four hour really quickly and just giving a bigger outlook here guys if you look again this is a very very strong zone here uh for support so if price does get down to this level at some point uh which it will eventually <laughs> it's definitely gonna it's definitely gonna have a nice movement to the downside so if it, if it clears this level here you can expect it to go on a, on a bearish run wow because it definitely went on a nice bull run prior to that. So let me go back and look at the uh, one hour really quickly. Oh, I messed it up. Something with trading, you got to make sure you're like all the way back to where you're at with your normal charting or it'll, it'll phase out on you. And it'll get all goofy, the candles will get super big. Okay, so, oh man, what am I doing here? Where did it go? All right, so where's my chart? Okay, so really quickly, looking at this, this was in a nice area of um, consolidation. And if you look, it was consolidating a lot all throughout December on EN, right? A lot of consolidation. And this is where that big, bull run happened that 
So right uh, mid-November, it was in a, you know, went from a downtrend here, making some higher highs and higher lows, and it dropped at this level here. Then it broke out of this zone, and then boom, it just started. Like it went on a nice, from the 22nd to the 28th, or something like that, 20 to 30th, like right after Thanksgiving, it went on a nice bull run, okay? So it kept going. Had a pull back here to this level that we're talking about, right? It bounced off this major level of uh, support a couple of times. It broke right here. It did come down a little bit here. Then it came back up, retested this level, went up, retested this level again, went up, retested this level again, went up, and has now just been, that's been a very strong support level. So let's get to where we're at today. I went over a little bit of this. Out of the consolidation, it did go up, came back down on a small bearish move. Uh, then it went to a lot of consolidation. Now it leads to where we are with it today. All right, so here's what has happened uh, since January 5th. So EN has literally just been consolidating back and forth, back and forth. And it's created some very nice market structure, as you can see here. Um, you know, we've got multiple touches to the top and bottom. That's why I really like this and looked at it like, wow, this is this is nice. So you look here, a touch here, a touch there, right? All of these touches at the top, it wants to break that level of resistance and continue on a potential bull run, right? To continue to, 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 to buy. But now, on if you look at this candle right here, that happened at... Eight o'clock, but this nine o'clock candle finally broke this level of support. Okay, so it broke this level of support right here, and now this has become what the new ceiling. Okay, now if you look here, this did not invalidate this area because these two candles right here they got really small wicks on them. But even though it's two full candles, it's still you see right here wick here. They got wicks there. This wick here. So this is this was still a valid support level. All right. Had these candles broke out like this one, this would have made this whole consolidation invalid. OK, but because it did not, it just kept ranging back and forth. Right. See, they came right here, but they didn't break out. OK, so it still made this a very. Uh, made this a very valid area. Now it finally broke out. OK, it broke out right here at 9 a.m. this morning. So now it broke. Not only did it break, it retested this area. OK, and now for me personally, I just got in uh, this trade for a sale. All right. So I normally don't trade around this time of the day, especially because the day is getting ready to reset. And I know the spreads are going to open up a lot higher than normal. But the reality is that it was a uh, it's broke out of this consolidation. So for me, it was like, yo, this is a nice move to take. And that's what I ended up doing. OK, so uh, why did I take it? Number one, I had to wait. One thing I was waiting for to make sure it wasn't going to be a reversal. OK, because if you look here. It broke out and retested right here. Right. Then I could have potentially got in anywhere in here. So I'll go to the 15 minute chart. Right. Boom. I could have got in 10 o'clock candle. Could have got in like on this 10, 15 candle. Somewhere right in here. Uh, it went out 17 pips. That would have been too many for me. But let's say if I would have caught it somewhere right up here, if I would have went to the five minute chart and call it, caught it on a smaller move, then I could have entered earlier. But I didn't. So I just got in now. But let's see, 10, 15. Right there. That would have been like. Perfect for me personally, because it would only been moved about four or five pips. If it's like eight, nine pips already in profit, I normally don't get in. Like seven is my cutoff. But I could have caught it right there, five pips. Boom, I could have got in. Okay. Right off of that. But um, what ended up happening, waited a little bit because I wanted to make sure one's going to be a reversal because it did break out of this zone. And, um, you know, we had the, uh, the rejection right here on this candle, right? And then we had the solid green candle right here close. Then it came back up and in. OK, so. Had it continued when it broke back into the zone. Had it retested and then started going up. 
that would have been signs of a uh, of a reversal. So could it still reverse? It possibly could, but I'm at the point I don't think it is because this candle right here closed back beneath the zone. So typically for me, when that happens, that's indicative of me that this is now going to continue down as a sell and it's going to potentially drop. Not even right here is going to drop uh, to the downside before it hits uh, another main. Now this is going to go back and forth and probably right in here we might get a little uh, pull back, but it's eventually going to drop down for at least about 120 pips. So that's what I'm looking for to happen. So I'm, I'm entered. I'm twin trading on it. I'll collect my profit on the first one. On the second order, I'll probably just trail it on down to grab even more pips off of it. So that's my analysis. That's where I'm at with it. And that's what I entered on. So I'm in on a sell on your NZD. I'll update you guys if anything changes. Again, just showing you guys exactly what I was looking for on the one hour broke retest. Boom, I got a confirmation of another red candle that closed beneath the zone. That's what prompted me to get in. But, you know, again, like I said, it could have potentially reversed, right? A lot of reversals happen on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, so it could have, you know, especially out of this really, really nice consolidation zone, something was going to break. Market only moves three ways. Continue to go sideways, break to the upside, or break to the downside, and broke to the downside. But it could have came out right here, out back in retested and shot back up okay but from what i'm saying here that's not happening okay so this is en guys this is what i have for you for today um i'll go look at the, the four hour really quickly even though i don't look at the four hour like that i really just stick to my one hour if you look on the four hour though uh this is a nice nice candle that closed this is a, a long how many pips on this candle here? Uh, this is one candle alone, 45 pips on that candle. But if you look look at it, right, it closed. It closed. It broke that zone. So, and now you got a doji here in this retested fake out, looking like it's now about to get ready and push to the downside. But if you look right here, all of these touches, even on a four hour, the 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 market structure, the support and resistance zone on the one hour is still reflecting what you see on the four hour. You can even see it a little bit better on the four hour. Look at all of these whip touches. Try to touch here, 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 all these multiple touches again to the downside here, here, here. This is the first candle that finally, it didn't wick, it closed. It broke that zone, right? It, bro it broke the zone and closed, uh, it closed in the zone, okay? Which is still reflective of uh, a full body candle close. Now, here we have this retest that happened here, and this is looking like uh, it's in between right now, but I'm confident it's going to continue to push to the downside. All right. So that's what I have for you guys, man. I hope you all got some value from this. I truly appreciate you all hopping on here with me. If you did get value, guys, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more of my content, guys, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification to be notified when I drop new videos. Listen, guys, if you're looking to learn more, about Forex trading um, and you're looking for mentorship training tools to help you uh, get results in the markets and, and, and help you make some money in the markets as well, go to tradewithed.com for more information. So I appreciate your time, guys. I will talk to you all uh, next week with another analysis video. Uh, with that being said, hope you again, hope you did uh, get some good content in this and, and found something to be helpful to you. Appreciate you guys. Take care. Have a great day.